Hey again everyone, Michael Voshinovich here from Vibrant Shot. Today we're going to look at creating some really awesome hair highlights in portraits. And we're going to be starting off with this portrait right here, and essentially we're going to be doing two things to it. So the overall effect that we're going for is going to look something like this. And essentially we've done two things. So the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, play off of some of these really great highlights that she has down uh, below over here. And we're going to really try and accentuate those and make them look really nice. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and mitigate this effect over here at the top where, uh, and you'll see this oftentimes if you're shooting a dark haired model, what will essentially happen is if she's got curly hair and essentially any areas where there's, there's highlights being graded, the light tends to essentially just wash out the dark color of the hair and bring in these almost bluish, you know, grayish kind of um, hair highlights. And they don't really look great. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to replace uh, the color within those with something that's a little bit more natural to the rest of her hair color. So like I said, again, this is sort of what we've done a little bit earlier, and uh, as you can see here, we've gotten rid of some of that, uh, that bluish tone that's at the top of her head, and we've really um, accentuated some of these great curls that she has down here. So to accomplish this, we're going to get started by going into the channels uh, palette over here, and as any of you know that have been watching for a little while, you know that I love channels-based selection, and so we're just going to use it again. Uh, we're going to go through our layers over here. We're going to try and find one that best represents our highlights. Now, um, the blue one, uh, it's not great. It's okay. I mean, we can see that some of the highlights are showing through here, but everything just kind of blends together into a fairly, um, you know, dark mess. So we don't really want that. Uh, the green is uh, is not too bad. Uh, we see that we're bringing out some of the highlights over here. The shadows, the areas that are not highlights, are uh, are actually fairly well defined. And in the red, everything is just kind of too bright. So I think the green one is the best one to start with. So we're going to take our green channel. We're going to duplicate it down here. And again, we're going to bring up our levels adjustment, hitting Command L or Control L if you're on a PC. And we're just going to clip some of these blacks over here just to uh, pull out the shadows. And actually, that looks pretty good. We're not going to modify anything else there. Now, obviously, uh, if we just use this in its current form, we're going to get tons of other elements selected. We're obviously going to get our face selected, anything that's white um, over in the background over here. Uh, but that's okay, because uh, we're going to work around that. So we're going to hit Command or Control if you're on a PC, and we're going to click down on that particular channel. Then we're going to go back into our RGB channel, deselect the green copy, go into the Layers palette, and we're going to create a brand new layer. So now that we got that layer created, uh, we're going to go into the color selection. So what we really want to do is we want to find a color that's going to nicely bring out those highlights. And the best way to start with that is to just take one of the brightest highlights as a starting point. So we're going to select there. That one's maybe a little too red. There we go. That gives us a nice golden highlight. So we're going to go into there, and I think I'm going to make this a little bit more red, and we're going to make that even brighter. So we're going to start with a color something like that. And now that we've got that, we've got our selection still in place, so we're going to hit uh, Option Delete or Alt Delete if you're on a PC. And that's essentially going to fill everything with that particular color. So obviously this is not the effect we're going for, so let's just deselect everything, and we're going to hold down Option and add a layer mask. So that's going to mask everything away, essentially we're right back to where we were. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, flow of our brush up to maybe around 50%. We're going to make sure that white is selected as our foreground color, so we're just going to hit X. That's going to reverse those colors for us and increase the size of our brush a little bit and we're going to just start painting in on that layer mask so you don't have to be too accurate here but you know generally just kind of try and trace through the areas that have highlights within the hair so I'm just going to work my way through this and again um, this is a lot easier to do if you have a Wacom tablet or any sort of tablet but you can do it with a mouse. Um, it's not terribly precise work, so you don't need to have a tablet to do this. I'm just going to shrink down my brush size a little bit here. And it's enough to just, you know, be fairly uh, liberal with uh, with this. You don't have to be super precise. Now, in this case here, we see that, you know, we've, we've covered some of these shadows over here, and that doesn't really look too natural, so I'm just going to reverse my color and just paint in black on that layer mask to get rid of that. So now that we've brought out some of those uh, those hair highlights there, let's just see where we're at. 
So we can see that we've really punched up the color of those hair highlights. And uh, we may be happy with that already as it stands, or we may want to adjust further. So some of the adjustments that we can do there are we can double click on the actual layer itself, and we can use our blended sliders to adjust this a little bit. So we're going to just split the slider by holding Option, and we're just going to adjust it so that we uh, don't apply this layer to anything that's you know fairly dark, like a, it's a fairly deep shadow. And essentially the best way to do that is to just kind of take it all the way back over here, and then just slide back until you see the highlights starting to come out again. So I would say in and around that level is going to be pretty good, maybe even back off a little bit more. So now we're left with um, those highlights really just applying to only the highlights and not really applying to any of the darker areas uh, within our hair. Now, if we're not happy with this color, maybe we didn't select the right color from the start, that's not a problem. We can just hit Command U or Control U. That's going to bring up our hue saturation slider and we can start adjusting this. So uh, maybe we like it to be much lighter, uh, in which case that actually doesn't look too bad, so maybe we can just add a little bit of lightness. Saturation, that's not looking too good, so we're going to actually take saturation down a bit. So at this level I think that's pretty nice, and um, we can also go more towards the red side of things, we can um, you know, lean towards a cooler uh, tone, but uh, to keep it natural I think somewhere in and around there is going to look pretty good. Hit OK. and. Those are our highlights. Now that effect is probably a little bit too intense, so again we can do a couple of different things. If we want to uh, essentially not apply any of the lightness elements uh, within what we've done here, we just want to actually take that color and apply it, we can just go into our blend modes and select a color blend mode. And As you can see now all we've really done is made those highlights a little bit more golden in color, but we haven't really changed the lightness um, of those tones. We've just changed the color itself. We can also go to a soft light blend mode, and that's going to um, kind of give us something in between uh, having a normal blend mode and a color blend mode. It's going to apply some of the color, but it's also going to lighten uh, the hair and make the, the actual color pop out a little bit more. I think I was pretty happy with the original um, you know, standard normal blend mode that we had here. I may just drop that opacity a little bit um, because I do think it's too intense. So that I think is a good starting point there, and the next thing we're going to have to deal with is some of these not so nice highlights at the top. So to do that, we're going to click on our new layer, and we're going to have to pick another color. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to pick a fairly dark color. We're going to go right down to the bottom here, and it's going to be a nice dark brown. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our blend mode to color, because all we really want to do is change the color of this. We don't want to start um, you know, essentially painting over the top of the hair and make it look like we've just painted on top of the hair. So we're going to knock our flow down to probably in around uh, 5%, 6%. And uh, we've got our color selected, so all we have to do now is just start painting on the hair. So let me just zoom in on that area a little bit. And essentially we're just going to start to cover that. Any areas that we see that, that light blue kind of tone coming through uh, within the highlight, we want to get rid of that blue tone and we want to replace it with our you know, sort of more natural brown color. So again, you don't have to be super accurate here, just a matter of, you know, covering everything up because we're going to do a couple of things to make this look better afterwards. So we're almost there. Let's just zoom out now. So as we can see, that's not looking perfect. We can actually, you know, it's, it's pretty noticeable that we've actually uh, painted over top of the hair. So we want to change that a little bit. So again, we're going to double click on our layer. And we're going to use our blended sliders. And we're going to just adjust that. Again, we're going to just take it all the way back and then just slowly start to bring it back. and. Uh, I think around this point here, at 100 or 90, uh, it starts to look pretty good. And the next thing we're going to do, again, we're going to bring up our hue saturation adjustment by hitting Command U or Control U. And we're going to knock down the lightness of this a little bit, maybe bring up the saturation a little bit, and we're going to um, take the hue a little bit more towards the red side. And then we can, again, maybe adjust our um, opacity a bit there. So as you can see, uh, we've now sort of replaced that color that was there, that you know ugly blue tint, and we've actually made it you know a nice golden color that matches uh, the rest of her hair. So if we group all of this together here, that's basically 
the before and afterwards we see that we've covered off all of this stuff up here that's nice nice brown color now that matches everything else and we've really brought out these highlights and made them look so much nicer so hope you enjoyed that tutorial find it useful and uh, start applying it to your own portraits we'll see you next time